on the River Congo. There's Judith. Here I am. We're going to go about, I think it's about 250, 260 miles on the river. Probably do it in about two days. We have a 15 horsepower engine uh, with uh, quite a bit of weight in the, in the canoe. But we, um, we'll go little by little. We're going up river, so that's more work. And we'll get back to Bazankusu. Jedik Pesambote, Mamonayo. Loba, hello everyone. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> Little view of the river. Yeah. It's really difficult to see this, but um, if you look in the distance, there is a huge, huge, huge thing with people on it. And what you have is, a, is a, a one boat is pushing quite a few barges and people travel this way. Yeah, who would have thought that when I was at school one day I would be sitting on a lazy boat going up the river Congo with my feet up watching the world go by. Yeah, here we are going up the river Congo and there's this huge thing next to us full of logs and they're flying an American flag and they've got their little pusher uh, things and then the rest of it's like a barge and, uh, and then in amongst it all uh, there are individuals who are doing a, a bit of fishing so here, we're still on the river. Now, we're still here on the river, and a lot of Japanese hyacinth, I think it is. Japanese hyacinth is uh, floating down by the river. We're going past uh, a lot of people doing fishing, but um, what we're doing now is we're actually cooking, and it's a little charcoal burner which is on the uh, 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 with a pan on top and we're going to cook some uh, fish and we're going to cook some pork and then everyone can have a little bit and we'll all be very happy. The sun's very hot, uh, 1st of March 2021 and here we are passing a little fishing village. There's a fishing village where people live for part of the time just to get some fish caught and uh, you see life going on. And who's behind me? Is Judith and me. So we're waiting for our dinner very soon. And like a bango masanga, and we've already shared a bottle of beer between us. So um, soon be in Batanko soon. See you then. So we've, um, we've woken up from um, <laughs> a sort of a sleep, um, me sitting on a chair. It gets quite cold at night on the river, there's a cool breeze. We ran into what was going to be a thunderstorm but um, it just uh, made the water very choppy. We came aground at least three times because the water's quite low at the moment. Uh, unfortunately the, the boat's quite stable and uh, we didn't fall in and I'm mostly worried about my computer. But anyway, we've had um, a night's sleep and we think it's about, I don't know. Is it like It's seven o'clock in the morning now, the sun's up. <coughs> and we probably will get to Bazankasu about uh, four o'clock this afternoon. <coughs> All being well, <coughs> so we'll see what happens. But the, the low water's been a problem. Uh, running aground slows us down a lot. Uh, <coughs> this is Judith here. And we've got other people on the boat as well. Um, <coughs> we'll see what happens later on. So here's the beauty of the river. This time it's the river Lolanga, which is a tributary of the river Congo and it's the river for Bazanku. So <coughs> at the same time we're getting our breakfast made. So here is the... Esambate! Water. We're getting um, our charcoal burner going so that um, we can have our breakfast. Oh. 
Bo Coca-Cola, eh? Was that in the video? It's on Bote, 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 they, they come alongside to sell fish and in the villages it's a lot cheaper. Yeah. They are bargaining to do with fish. And just to show that I'm in the middle of it all, I'm here. So, uh,